People are asking me, has Mark gone full keto? Has he, has he gotten away from primal? What's going on? Well, here's the answer. Um, it's a little of both. Uh, I've always been primal, you know that. Uh, the essence of, of a primal blueprint way of eating is to cut out industrial seed oils, to cut out uh, added sugars, and most sugars in general, uh, to reduce the amount of uh, grains in your diet. Uh, and at that point, you wind up with real food. Now, if all you ever did was eat real food, you would be fine. You would be uh, in great shape. You would be trending toward your ideal body composition. Uh, you would have all the energy you want. But what if there's something else out there? And that was my whole uh, exploration of keto. I wanted to see if there was another level of metabolic flexibility that I could achieve. Uh, I wrote the Keto Reset Diet with the intent of showing people how to refine their metabolism, how to achieve metabolic flexibility using a ketogenic approach, but not requiring that you spend the, le the rest of your life uh, in ketosis. And so today, I exist in what I call the keto zone. Uh, what I've done is I've used a ketogenic diet, I've used the Keto Reset Program to establish metabolic flexibility. I get energy from whatever substrate is available, the fat on my plate, the fat on my body, the carbohydrates on my plate of food, the, the glycogen in my muscles, the glucose in my bloodstream, uh, the amino acids sometimes, the ketones that my liver makes. I am metabolically flexible and I don't require that I'm in some state of ketosis to utilize all these subs substrates anymore. So. I am in a keto zone where some days I might have 175 grams of carbs. Ooh. And other days I might have zero carbs. Other days I might not eat. Other days I might have one or two meals in the course of a day. Uh, some days I might fast through the day. Some days I might have three meals. This is what the metabolic flexibility is all about. It's that ability to live and to eat different uh, types of food uh, without having your energy affected negatively one way or the other. So on a day when I'm having 30 grams of carb total, I have all the energy I need. I'm, I'm manufacturing ketones, I'm burning ketones, I'm burning fat. And on days when I'm consuming 150 or 175 grams of carbs, I'm mostly using the carbs. And I'm burn, still burning fat, and I might even still be doing ketones to the extent that I'm whatever my, my workout strategy, for instance, might look like that day. So I'm always primal, I'm sometimes keto, and I'm using a ketogenic strategy as a way of shoring up my metabolism. Um, in a practical sense, what this looks like is maybe uh, one period of six weeks per year, I go full keto for that six week period. That's the reset, that's the metabolic reset. And after I've done that, as long as I'm eating real food and I'm not going off the wagon in terms of uh, excess carbohydrates for days or weeks at a time, I stay in that keto zone all the time and I think you can too.